Hi everyone, my name is David Mulligan and this is my third video for the UAV and high technology course. Uh, this week we're actually going to be moving into a new unit where we talk about smart technologies and digital transformation. Um, and our prompt for this week is how will this technology affect my area of study, professional work, personal life, or how may it save lives in the future. Uh, so before I jump into the contents of the lecture, I just want to define a few things that I just mentioned. So smart technologies, that stands for self-monitoring, analysis, and reporting technology. Um, so essentially what it is, is how can we more efficiently use autonomous technology to um, acquire, analyze, and then output data. And then digital transformation is how can we reevaluate existing processes to determine if they can be improved or sped up by incorporating digital techniques, so such as incorporating the smart technology that I mentioned before, just to make it more efficient, make it faster, stuff like that. Uh, so jumping into the lecture, one of the new pieces of technology I found particularly interesting are the 360 degree cameras that Kirk showed us. Uh, he showed a couple of videos of it being used for firefighter applications um, and also just using it for tours, stuff like that. Um, and Instantly, my mind just started spinning with all the possible applications, especially in the aerospace injury industry as I'm studying aerospace engineering. So that's where my brain went. Uh, the first thing that came to mind is training military pilots. Uh, I think it'd be really useful for them if they can be on the ground, you know, in a room in a safe environment, but at the same time, it feels like they are up in a fighter jet and they're, you know, they have a full range of motion around the plane and it's almost like they're actually up there flying it. Uh, I think that'd be very helpful. And along the same lines, when they uh, actually are on a mission, whether it be military or space or commercial, uh, providing more cohesive data to mission control would be greatly improved if everybody who's on the ground in mission control can see the full 360 degree range of motion that the pilot's able to see. Uh, this could also be applied in space. So for example, when working on satellites, either with an autonomous drone or with an astronaut, uh, it'd be really helpful for everybody else on the space station or the space shuttle or even back on the ground uh, to be able to see everything that either the drone or the astronaut is seeing, uh, whether that be potential dangers or just uh, ways that they could improve things that they could work on. Uh, the last thing I thought of is maybe just learning a new hobby. Uh, similar to how I was talking about military pilot training, um, one hobby of mine that I want to get into is I really want to get my pilot's license. And so that could be a way for me to um, train and practice uh, that's much cheaper than trying to actually take planes up and get flight times and stuff like that. Um, another thing moving on that we talked about in the lecture is LIDAR technology, so light detection arranging data. Um, what this does essentially is it uses imaging and millions of tiny measurements to create 3D renderings of pretty much any uh, area or situation you can think of. So uh, in this video, it showed that you can be used to tour virtually pretty much anywhere you want, uh, just from a computer screen, which I think is really awesome. Um, one application that I thought of could be used for my field is that you can virtually inspect an aircraft or satellite components, um, which will make things go much more smoothly, much faster. Also allows you to look a little bit more closely just to make sure that you know everything is right and we are ready to fly. Um, you can also use it to scope out new job sites or new test sites uh, just for engineering fields in general. You're always going to need new job or test sites. I uh, also think it can save lives for sure, especially in the fire safety or first responder uh, category. So if you provide 3D renderings to first responders like ahead of an emergency or as soon as you get that emergency, it'll allow them to be more familiar with the building or the area uh, that they're running into. and you know, when they're more comfortable, they're able to get through it faster. Maybe they will be able to get to a victim more quickly or uh, say for a fire, uh, they'll be able to put it out more quickly before it spreads. And so I just think both of these types of technologies are really interesting, have a lot of potential uh, to be used in the field to save lives and just improve the field of engineering. Uh, so yeah, like I said, there's an incredible amount of potential for smart technology and digital transformation both in the engineering and fire safety industry and just in our everyday lives. Uh, I'm really excited to continue these modules and learn more about what the future holds for this field. Thank you.